Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is that sometimes you come across expressions like these which are trinomials, they contain three terms, but can be reduced down to quadratic expressions. So let me just show you what I mean by taking this first example. In this first example then what we've got is x to the power 4 minus 3x squared minus 10. Now what we can do is think of this x to the power 4 as x squared all squared. x squared times x squared is x to the power 4. Then we've got minus 3x squared and then the minus 10. Now if I was to replace the x squared with say y, let's just see what this would look like. Okay, Here I would have y squared then I'd have minus 3y and then minus 10. And this could be factorized. Now I haven't got much room here so I'll just put it's identical to and if you were factorizing this you'd have your two brackets you'd have a y and a y and then a minus 5 and a plus 2. This would give y squared minus 3y minus 10 when it was expanded. Now that means that if y is x squared then this is identical to two brackets being multiplied together and we saw that it was y minus 5 so instead of y, y was x squared. So you've got x squared minus 5 and for y plus 2 you've got x squared plus 2. So x to the power 4 minus 3x squared minus 10 can be factorized down to this. We often say that this is a quadratic expression in terms of x squared. Okay, A quadratic in x squared. Let's have a look at this one now. We've got 2a plus the square root of a minus 21. Now this is a quadratic, a quadratic in root a, because you should be able to see that we could write this as 2 times square root of a all squared. And then we've got plus root a minus the 21. So this is a quadratic in root a. If we were to let y equal root a, then what we've got is 2 y squared plus y minus 21. And this can be factorized. Again, I'll have to move down here because of lack of room, but we'd have our two brackets. We'd have a 2y and a y, and then plus 7 and minus 3. Expand that out and you'll get 2y squared plus y minus 21. So wherever there was a y, y was the square root of a. So in other words, this can be reduced down to two brackets and we've got 2y, 2 root a, plus the 7 and then y minus 3, so that becomes y, y was root a, minus 3. So we have a quadratic expression in root a, which can be factorized. Okay, so as I say, always look out for trinomials which essentially can reduce down to quadratic expressions in a particular value. A quadratic then in x squared, a quadratic in root a. Alright, well that brings us to the end of this tutorial.